Hey viewers, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we are talking about troubleshooting air conditioning systems. So I had an issue with mine that I was able to solve. So I wanted to kind of go through the problem and what I faced so that maybe if you face the same problem, uh, it might help you out. So <clears throat> for my air conditioning system, I've got this uh, American Standard system. It's basically uh, a five ton unit that runs the whole house. So I got the air handler in here. It is wired up with a backup uh, resistive uh, backup heat. So 240 volt with a 60 amp and a 50 amp circuit coming in. Uh, the outside unit is just a five ton uh, heat pump, air to air heat pump. And then we have a zoning panel, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, so what happened? Well, the house started getting hot and we're in the summer in Oklahoma and we've been having a lot of 100 degree days and so it's been kind of kind of miserable, but air conditioning helps, which is why it was sucky when it didn't work. So the house was getting hot one night and went to go look at the uh, downstairs panel, you know, the main panel for the system, and it was throwing an error code and basically said, contact your, you know, HVAC service technician. Well, hopefully not. I wanted to try it myself first to see what, what's going on. Do the easy stuff, right? Sometimes you got to call a tech to do stuff, but if you can do it yourself, why not? So looked at the error code and it seemed to be a problem, something to do with the zoning panel. So I come up uh, to the attic where all the stuff is. You can see there's my air handler. And then right here's my zoning panel, just to give you an idea. And this thing was completely powered off. I was, so right away I'm like, well, there's your problem. So why is it powered off? So I went and got the multimeter and I was looking around here and you can see right there, 24 volt trans. Okay, that's our that's our power input. So I should have 24 volts there and I did not. So 24 volt, for, 24 volt trans. Well, that tells me, okay, there's a transformer. So probably AC, right? So 24 volts AC and then powered by a transformer, follow the wires back. Cause I didn't even know this thing had a transformer on it until I got here and sure enough, Mount up under there, of the air handler, there's a transformer. That takes the 240 volts in and gives you 24 volts out, just like a, a doorbell transformer. And so follow the wires up and it's into this kind of power distribution block coming off of these uh, big 240 volt circuits here. And wired in with, I'd never seen these before, see if you can get an idea. Those are all like blade uh, like blade terminals, but they're, they're taps. They're Y splitters, basically. You've got a male blade coming off of that, uh, that relay or whatever that, that box is. I'm assuming it's some sort of relay with some low voltage wires or something connected there with those purple and whites there. But you can see the big red and black for the 240 volt power. But then you also see the, the white and the orange. Those are the uh, primaries coming off of the transformer and they're tapped with this you know, basically it's a Y splitter for those uh, those blade terminals. Never seen that before. It seems janky to me, but I guess it works. Again, I didn't install any of this HVAC. You know, I had a um, HVAC contractor do it, but I guess that's typical. Let me know in the comments. Is it? I I thought it was kind of weird, but I guess that's how it's done. Anyway, so I proceed to check the transformer. I start probing and pulling wires, etc. And what I found was that the transformer was getting 240 volts in, no problem, but it was not outputting the 24 volts. Okay, well, that seems to be the problem. So I went to my local supply store and got a replacement. Bolted it back in, right? It's just connected there with some self-tapper screws into the uh, into the side of the air handler, um, which, yeah, okay, I guess that works. I don't like poking holes in the, in the thing. I would have assumed you'd mount this on a you know, somewhere else, but I guess that, that works. So replaced it, put it back, and it still didn't work. I was like, what well, crap, what's going on? And so I test the output of the transformer and I'm getting 24 volts. Okay, what else is going on? Enter all the other wiring mess. I was like, oh, there's some switches in line that, um, you know, will interrupt, you know, one of the uh, one of the legs of that, that AC, right? So I've got two. I've got this one, I got one down there. So that switch down there 
is the overflow switch, I think, for this for this drip pan, where if somehow this drip pan starts filling up with water and gets too high, then that's the that's the, the last oh crap switch. And the other switch here is for the backup of the condensate drain. And basically what you can do, in my case, I just got my multimeter again, probed the, you know, kind of the, the constant hot side of the transformer, right? So this one, like in this case, it's, uh, yeah, this yellow connects uh, directly to the, to the panel, right? To the, uh, to the zoning panel, that wire up there, that white wire right there is this wire right here okay so that's a direct connect and then all the switching is done on the other leg and so you can see here we've got the blue coming off the transformer and it's going this black it's going all the way down here one of those black wires in wire no with the extension again i don't like the one i wish they did this a lot better this to me seems really sloppy but maybe this is a part for the course for hvac i don't know let me know in the comments what's your experience I consider this sloppy, but I was too busy with other parts of the house to really inspect it. The air blew cold, and that's that's where I left it for the time being. So it goes all the way down that switch, and then comes back, right? And then daisy chains into this switch, and then finally goes back uh, here. Oh, there it is, into that red, and that red goes back to the zoning panel. So any one of the switches can interrupt the circuit. So. I tested, I tested them independently and found that the problem was with this switch right here. And I guess what had happened was somehow I got a condensate uh, backup that was tripping this switch. And this thing just pops out, right? And that's how it, how the system works. To, and as this fills up, right, it trips the switch. So um, what I ended up doing was I ended up blowing out the line. So I, I did two things. First, I actually... On this vent here, I actually just put my mouth on it and blew, because I have an air compressor up here, and blew and, and tried to evacuate anything that might be clogged, you know, in this in this area, in the trap or anything like that. And then here, what I did was I dumped this thing. I was able to pivot it. So I just basically dumped the water out of this and then put the switch back on. And so far, it's been working great. Now, if it trips off again, then I know, hey, I've got a more systemic problem with the condensation and I need to look at it. Uh, but for now, it seems to be working well. Um, and I don't actually know what uh, what would cause that. From what I saw looking down here, it almost there was some level of like jellification to this. Like the, the condensation almost had a, like I said, like a, a gelled kind of quality. Uh, just a little bit. And so I don't know what that means. Yeah, again, if you know in the comments, let me know. Uh, I'm, I'm not as concerned about it right now because the system's working. And if, if it stops working again because the switch then I will, uh, then I will also, uh, you know, investigate further. But uh, for now, now it's working well. So um, that was my process. Um, just a little bit of time to troubleshoot. Um, being careful, you know, as you're probing voltages, right? A lot of these uh, connectors here, I was able to back probe these connectors with the multimeter leads. You can see the, the metal in there, so you, you don't have to necessarily tear everything apart um, and you do want to be careful because this is 240 volt so um, it won't tickle if you get hit with it well what's very convenient is these circuit breakers that they have integral to this uh, this uh, heat strip uh, add-on right to the uh, to the unit so that is quite nice and at least the way I'm mine's wired up it was uh, just this bank that uh, that I had to turn off but I turned them off both when I was working on it just because I wanted the whole thing de-energized. Um, so yeah, I think that's about it. That's all I got for you. I hope you found this useful. Uh, at least take you through how my system is set up and uh, what I had to do to get it back up and running. Hopefully it helps you. And as always, uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.